Hi folks, this is all the fruit. I'm in the tiny country of Monaco, in the beautiful city of Monte Carlo, at the casino. And now let's look what nice fruits they have on the casino grounds. Ficus Benjamina, one of the non-edible Ficus species, but really beautiful nevertheless. Chameropsumilis humilis with edible fruit and heart of palm, but not really worth the trouble. This is not a cactus, but a giant spurge, Euphorbia. This is the, oh God, this was called the hot and tot fig. But I've never seen well-developed fruit. I've always seen such abortive fruit in the Mediterranean. Something must be lacking here. Well, tsukas. Don't try to eat tsukas, it's toxic. Pitosporum. Don't try to eat pitosporum. I don't think it's toxic, but still don't try. Uh, this was a... Oh God! Where is my head? I forgot basically all the plant names here. Well, yucca. You can actually eat yucca stalks and flowers and fruit, but they are not really worth the trouble. Here, some aloe, when you get sunburn from the Monaco sun. Here again, beautiful building of the casino. Domestic pines, but they don't seem to get enough water. Yeah, the one on the left is a domestic pine. The one in the middle is most probably Pinus alepensis. And here among the palms, another domestic pine with edible pine nuts. Here we have a Washingtonia probably filifera. This I think could be a Washingtonia robusta, a really old tree. Both with edible fruit and heart of palm, but not too interesting. Yeah, here Washingtonia robusta. Washingtonia filifera, flowering Roystonia, more Roystonia, Chamerops. They all have more or less edible fruit, but a lot of them are not so tasty. Lokvat, Eriobotria japonica, a really valuable fruit tree. Some Erica, I think this could be the... It doesn't look like the local Erica arborea. It could also be some exotic Erica. So what have we got here? Phoenix canariensis, the canary date palm. The fruit are very inferior to the to the African date palm. Oh, here in the background, this could be a bunya bunya pine or some closely related species. Well, some are aucaria and a lot of them have really giant cones with really giant edible nuts. Beautiful and tasty if you get them at the right time of the year. What have we got here? Well, ah, this looks like a Monstera Deliciosa. Oh, yeah, there are the Monstera Deliciosa fruit, four of them, quite big ones. They will probably be ripe in a month or two. Ficus elastica, or a very closely related species, but those look like real elastica. A really huge Chamerops humilis, a dwarf palm, which is at least five meters tall. Let's see if we can get a better look on the, on the Monstera Deliciosa fruit. Here they are. Really big ones. This is Monstera Deliciosa. More Chamerops humilis. Well, here is. This could be some Bougainvillea. Yeah, this is a Bougainvillea. But not in flower right now, I saw. Much nicer ones around here. 
another Pinus pinea, a cork oak. This is where the cork for the for the wine bottles comes from. Some other araucaria, but no cones. We are not in season. Well, here is the casino. Front side. Don't even know what this is. I think I should know what it is, but I don't. <laughs> Let's see what we have in front of the casino. Oh, here are some sweet potatoes with yellow and red leaves. Some ornamental citrus. The climate here is already melted up for citrus. Sucas. This should be Phoenix. Phoenix Senegalensis. The fruit are not considered edible as far as I know. Some more Shaberops. Well, I mean, it's the local native palm tree here, so why should they use it a lot? They do have a lot of exotic palms, but the local Shaberops is one of the most popular pubs for for ornamentals here. The architecture is really impressive. I mean, a lot of people are leaving a lot of money here. Not bad, really not bad. Well, folks, this was the park of the famous Monte Carlo Casino. Stay tuned for a lot more fruit videos from beautiful Bodaco. And don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe.